Hey Scorpios, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back guys. Count your blessings Scorpio. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, that's why I'm laughing. Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Pink Lotus Fairy. A time for spirit. And we have, let's see, okay, holding on way too tight. Uh, this is the quickest way to block your blessings by holding on to something that's not serving you in any way, shape or form. Um, it will... If you fear letting go of it, or if you fear that things will change and things like that, it creates this being strangely lonely. When you have blessings around you, but you hold on to one thing, it'll usually block your view. So you won't be able to see the other blessings, right? So um, count your blessings to find what you're looking for here. Okay, I know it's hard if you say, hey, some people only wish for health and I have my health. That's a blessing. Thank you. Gratitude. And then your blessings build. But if we hold on to something, it leaves us in this place where we feel isolated and alone. But this pink lotus fairy, it lets us know that, you know, it's time for things to materialize and become physical. So whatever we have been trying to manifest uh, will now become physical um, but don't focus solely on one thing okay let's say uh, you just started a new business and it's fantastic and everything like that but that one ex didn't come back so you're like I have no blessings this person didn't come back to me and I'm just giving you a rough example right but if you focus on the one thing you didn't get that may still be in that manifestation process um, you're not going to see or be thankful for the blessings you have. So then that blessing will very quickly die down and it'll no longer uh, be given to you because we're not practicing gratitude for it. Um, so if we are thankful for our health and maybe a roof over our head or maybe some food to eat when there's people who don't have food, we just take a step back. Um, this is card one. So it's about focusing on yourself, the first house there. Um, if we just take a step back and focus on what we do have and build outwards, you can see and be able to count your blessings. Number one in the tarot is related to the magician. We have um, 43, uh, which is seven, which in the tarot is the chariot, right? So this is a success. This is magician manifesting destiny here. And we have eight strength card right and the eighth house is scorpion so then that would be um transformation change abundance right with that eight so this is how we do it if we take it really back to basics this is how we do it for some of you <clears throat> when you've been doing the healing work and working on yourself here you know, it seems like you left in quite a drained place after everybody taking their peace. I mean, look at her. She looks rather gone, right? Um, sleepless nights here. Look under her eyes. The stress from everybody taking from you. And you have to be able to say, hey, it has to stop, right? It has to stop because I'm giving my blessings away. And when those people don't return it to me, I then become quite agitated and angry. Uh, so then I end up strangely lonely because then everybody gets to blame you, right? And say, oh, it's that damn Scorpio. Um, look how they reacted. Or I told you they was like that. So then you have to go through taming that inner beast because you're a spiritual child here. You're like, mm, meditate, woosa. Um, so, but then you end up keeping all of that inside you. And that is one surefire way for your health to disappear. Um, once we're keeping our emotions inside us. 
right? We're water, so it needs to flow out of us because, you know, water's mutable. It can turn to ice and th solid things. So we want to change that before it becomes a problem. So let go, Scorpio. I promise you, let go. Just breathe. Just breathe. I think it was Toni Braxton who says, let go. She says, the thing about love is that it's not enough if the only thing it causes us is pain. Right? So we don't want to have it cause us this pain and this disruption, um, especially in our bodies, right? And I don't usually do health readings, but how this girl's looking is a bit crazy. So it's a bit like me, but yeah, it's a bit like, you know, it's drained. So you have to take it back to yourself. And I feel like there's so many of you who have been um, working on your inner child, which is wonderful. But what happens is this inner teenager then manifests here, right? <laughs> and we know what teenagers are like. So let's get to the rest of the cards. This is going on a bit here, but there's just a lot of messages here in these first Oracle cards. So let's have a look. King of Pentacles four of swords knight of pentacles and the fool um so i could have started with an earth sign where or somebody representing earth qualities uh that started and kick-started your healing and it's been a long journey ever since um this person could have even taken a long time to come back they're scared to take a chance with you because usually um you know once you've been through giving and giving and giving and you've said no in the beginning and then at the end it comes out like a huge fire um so you know having that <laughs> inner beast once you let it out it's like okay i'm out to play <laughs> so it doesn't want to go back in so this person was scared of approaching you um so it's like you had to heal on your own and like i said it feels like we're healing this inner child but um yeah it could be the you know not a everybody has inner child problems it could be in a teenage problem so it could have been that uh you know in your teenage years uh you had challenges and stresses and things that you pushed down and you know carried on with throughout life on your journey but the thing is scorpio i've heard people describe it as um villain stage <laughs> um you know, entering their villain stage. But actually, it's this <laughs> inner teenager stage where you want to be able to kick off and take care of you. And it's part of healing. It's growth. It's self-nurturing, right? When we're teenagers, we should be able to explore and make mistakes and be supported and things like that. But it feels like maybe if this was your case, you wasn't supported through those years. Um and you had to do maybe a lot of healing and things like that even maybe feeling on the right track a lot of scorpios they meet their soulmates so young in life so it could be like you've grown up way too quickly skipping the teenage years right um so many so many uh scorpios meet their soulmates even around 11 years old um so then at the you know when you go into the high schools and things like that, well, we call it high school here in um, the UK. Once we move on to the higher schools, um, you know, we end up with those same high school sweethearts, right? And then without really finding ourselves or exploring in life and being this fool and free and fabulous um, to know what it is we want. So we end up connected with somebody before we've even found out what it is we desire um moving forward in our life so i definitely feel like this fool might be you entering the quote-unquote villain stage um it's not selfish it's not a bad stage um it's not villainish at all it's you deciding that you are important and to keep your own peace this king of pentacles you're not going to overgive. you're going to nurture yourself you're going to feed yourself you're going to love yourself because it's on this count your blessings um it's on the you know number one card here which is uh the number one house is about self it's about keeping your peace 
not continuing to do for everybody else all the time. It took you a long time to change this though. Jump. Let go. Tell me what you're holding on to, Scorpio. Let go. Holding on to the hurt or, you know, the bad childhoods and the bad teenage years. It's not serving you now. And it's not being a villain to look after yourself. It's very much needed. And I feel like probably this is where Scorpios get the bad rap because they do it and 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 do it without speaking up on it. They say nothing about it. Swords are about speech uh, and thought. So you, you say nothing about it while you're doing it for people. But then all of a sudden you'll be moving very slow and then you move and free yourself from them. And then people are like, why are they a ghost? Where have they gone? But it's when you've made yourself break down so much that you actually need healing from these people. And this lesson has been taught to you over and over by the divine. So this is why it looks like, why did I go through this so many times? Because you're overly cautious about, I guess, taking care of you or doing the right thing, keeping your own peace and saying no to people. Uh, you might be very well aware of the about karma from very young age, so you don't want to, you know, do bad onto others. You know, so I feel like you you start by treating people how you want to be treated, and you start very uh, fair and you know regal almost, um, strong, powerful. And you help them and help them and then they take and they take and then they'll end up, you know, leaving you and then you are and you end up being strangely lonely. It is the fact that you could even have people around you and feel lonely, could be in a relationship and feel lonely. It's because you're giving and giving and not receiving anything back from these people. You know, um, accountability, I always talk with about on my channel which people don't really like to do but I'm still I'm here for the healing I'm here for the growing you know and we have to be able to say those difficult things and mo mainly I say them most to Aquarius and Scorpio and Virgos and stuff because they can take it but just because you can take all this doesn't mean you should have to right what would happen if you let go of all the things that was weighing you down what happened if you acted before, you know, okay, I'll wait for them to get right when they're taking so long to get right? What would happen? Would you be solely focused on one thing or would you be seeing and receiving more blessings? It's just uh, thinking out loud. What would happen if you let go and did whatever it is you wanted to do and was just free and supported by the universe, what would you do? Six of Pentacles. This would bring so much balance into your life, letting go of those things that weigh you down. Because it's like one-sided. It's like you're going like that. You're falling down and being dragged down. It's one-sided. So the sixth house is the house of health and service to humanity. So a wonderful time for healing and taking care of health with the king of pentacles and six of pentacles there. Things that maybe even you've been putting off with the knight of pentacles, it's now time to go ahead and do it. It'll bring and restore that balance. Maybe you've just been wanting to get to the gym or walk in nature here. Doing a lot of things uh, like earth signs, that are drawn to and things like that would really suit you here. Some of you, I feel like you might just be about to meet um, this earth sign. Ten of Cups. If it's if this earth sign, you already know them. Um, they're thinking about you a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot. This could even be family members and things like that. Uh, if it was a cycle that ended. Um, 
if this is just solely about you and what's going on with you um like i was saying it's like going through the st stages of healing that inner child and then healing that inner teenager um, maybe even having teenage pregnancies and things like that going on here and then e healing that inner feminine and inner masculine energy you know all of it coming together to um i feel like you know it's a beautiful thing that's going on within yourself here learning to love all of you right from a baby maybe some of you just wasn't loved as a child maybe some of you wasn't loved as a teenager so you took on a huge masculine energy and started doing for yourself and others to try and be loved by others so now it's time to come back and embrace your feminine energy and move into your feminine energy and really love and embrace yourself and then embrace your inner child there so some of you just moving into that inner child work six of wands um so this will be overcoming a spiritual lesson once and for all let the beast out let the villain out you know if you have something to say to people if it, that's a no that's a no say what you need to say to keep your peace and this is how you conquer the beast you know by recognizing the beast within you by being able to express yourself to keep your peace the good and the bad or the light and dark within us are equally useful and equally have a right to be within us it's about everything is about balance here the sixes will show that here everything is about bringing into balance being able to love ourselves from the outside in, from the inside out. And knowing that it's becoming one with ourselves, and knowing that maybe you even felt like you was here for more and you kept looking for that and that's why you kept helping for people and stuff. It's sort of like some sort of recognition you're getting here. It feels kind of like the judgment card. Um, the you want recognition so maybe you give people recognition you meet a soulmate and you know hey you're important to me uh you're an important part of my life you're a soulmate etc so then you give them too much because the six in tarot is related to the lovers as i said the sixth house is health and service to humanity so these are the areas maybe that have been you need to focus on right now um it might be a divine love connection that started you on your journey but it's time to take another leap of faith and it's time to begin a new journey and maybe not hold on so tight to one part of the journey because above it all we're not just here for a romantic journey love is to love humanity to serve humanity to you know, help each other and lift each other. The only time we should look down on somebody is when we're helping them up. But be careful helping people up, Scorpio, all the time. Because that's why you have been pulled down. Okay, they both came, but look at the cards that came. The sun, the wheel of fortune. Things are going to turn around. The sun will shine again. You know, um, you know that the world goes in these cycles, you know, winter. Uh, and this is when ice and water is frozen. And then we'll move to spring and it'll start to thaw. And then we'll move to summer and it'll start to run. And then we'll move to autumn and it'll start to get cold again. And we'll start to see like you know the morning dew and the icy weather the water will start to freeze again you know it goes in these cycles you know it's forever changing if anybody knows it scorpio you know it the sun will shine again you know it won't always be this way things are forever changing 
and things will change in your favor. If you have a yes or no question, the answer is yes here. Yes, things are about to turn around for you and you're about to see these blessings. So count the blessings you have right now to receive these blessings. <clears throat> the emperor, this is a life of luxury. The life that you deserve, you have to decide that you want it. The emperor's not always a villain, right? But if you listen out in general readings, they will say, the emperor is stubborn. This is somebody who won't change their mind and things like that. Good, be the emperor. It brings your abundance. Is somebody allowed to disturb your peace? No, they're not. Is somebody allowed to walk all over you? No, they're not. So what if you're being stubborn? So what if you will not accept somebody else's trash and they try to tell you it's your treasure? No, it's a next man's treasure. It's not mine. I'll decide what my treasure is, right? So this is things turning round, lasting a long time, this abundance. I love that, that it will last this long time. The major arcana are things that have been going on for a while and will continue. So we see once you take that leap of faith, that's when things change. Once you let go. Six of Wands, completing spiritual lessons and finally being seen and feeling seen. But now you're seen. What that means is no, you have to do everything you can to protect your own peace. And if that's entering the villain stage or, you know, healing your inner teenager embracing the inner shadow, whatever anybody wants to name it. It's just a name. I say it's protecting your peace and receiving the blessings that you came here to receive. You've done the lessons, right? You've done the hard part, Scorpio. It's another sign I told the other day that we get so used to hard and difficult things that we are more willing and open to accept hard and difficult things because we know how to handle that. So you, you need to learn how to handle your blessings and start by counting them. And it starts with you. Isis, the god the goddess of magic and sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Did you ever see a Scorpio card? I'll wait. This is you. You know, um, people really confuse Scorpios with that sexual energy thinking it's about putting yourself around and things like that. It is so not about putting yourself around. It's about being able to harness it and manifest your desires, your blessings, your wishes, your dreams. Anything you actually want is in your power. It's a very sacred energy that you have access to. You wasn't only uh, put here to receive all this bad. The sin of true freedom. I mean, jump with that fool. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. Come on, Scorpio. <laughs> Come on. Our readings are always just... The joy perm permeated mother. Um, I am my own guru. I know thyself that never changes. Hmm. Ask a Scorpio, we transform every single day, right? But your honesty, your loyalty, your morals, they don't change. So it gets, once you get over a spiritual lesson, you go back to your morals and your dignity and integrity. And this is why the inner teenager needs to come out to be able to be like, nope, I'm just wild and free. I'm this fool right now. Because... If, have you ever met a delusional person? Everything just manifests so easy for them. And I, when I say delusional, I don't mean um, in a negative way. I know words like crazy and delusional have been given these negative attachments to put down certain people in humanity, keep them down, right? But a person who's just blindly going through life, loving it, 
manifest so easy and you may think why is it manifesting so easy for them and I'm really here um, struggling and I'm doing my best I'm working hard you're working hard in the physical with the king of pentacles energy okay the goddess of self-knowledge the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create we are the creators of our own reality once we just know that boom you'll be this fool be the fool be the fool Scorpio, you deserve to be the fool and, you know, tell people, hey, you're staying out of, you know, this is my peace. This is my realm here. Go away. If you want to invite somebody in, here's your yes. Here's your yes with the sun. If you're in a relationship, if this person's not acting like they're in a relationship with you, be the fool. Be the fool. If you haven't got a ring on it, you know, it's time just to be free for you. Because true freedom, true love is what will serve you right now. Holding on to things that are weighing you down in water, you're just going to drown and you're going to miss all those blessings. So you turn things around by letting go, Scorpio. Good luck.